Good afternoon, folks. Yes, it's Soul Truth Speaker. The topic today is the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Now, do I support Roe versus Wade? I'll put it like this. I feel a woman has the right over her own body, her own reproductive system, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. But, 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 life starts in the womb. I hate murder, the murder of an unborn child, the taking of a life, a course in that still murder. Do you understand where I'm coming from? But I want every one of your responses on this. I feel like this. Life starts in the womb. That's murder. Use protection. Let me tell you something. Do you know who bears the blunt of abortions? I'll put it like this. Planned Parenthood, we all know, was started by Margaret Sanger. But they can trace their founding back to Margaret Sanger, who was a noted racist. Yes, she was. She hated black people. Or people of color, should I say, minority groups. Let me give, give you a little bit of information. Margaret Sanger spoke to the women auxiliary of the Ku Klux Klan at a rally in New Jersey to generate support for birth control. And even though she eventually distanced herself from the eugenics movement because it was because of its hard turn to explicit racism, she endorsed the Supreme Court's 1927 decision in Buck versus Bell, which allowed states to sterilize people deemed unfit without their consent, and sometimes without their knowledge. A ruling that led to the sterilization of tens of thousands of people in the early 20th century. Let me give you a little bit more information. In the first human trials of the birth control pill, a project that Sanger Passion later in life were conducted with her backing in Puerto Rico, where as many as 1,500 women were not told that the drug was experimental or that they might experience dangerous side effects. That's why you have most of these Planned Parenthood clinics in black communities. Now let me give you a little bit more information. What they call genocide, black abortion in America. They have been saying the most dangerous place for a black person is in the womb of in a, a black person's womb. A thousand babies are aborted every day in black America. Do you know that? That's why black women are targeted so. Or shall I say, and people of color, but especially black people. Let me give you this here, give you a little bit more information. Abortion is the number one killer of black lives in the United States. According to the CDC, and the prevention of abortion kills more black people than HIV, homicide, diabetes, <coughs> accident, cancer, and heart disease combined. Black as black people, we only make up 12% of the population of America, but we have 40% of all abortions, black women. Right, listen, listen like this, in Michigan alone, black women make up only 14% of Michigan female population, but they had 55 Point four percent of all abortions reported in 2020. Black genocide. Black genocide works to ensure the, the survival of all races of people and to improve the, the quality of their life. You know, this is excluding the black race. It's to ensure the death of the black race. 
in reference to building up the white race. That's why Margaret Singer came up with all these ideas. Let me tell you something. I love children. And like I said, I'm going to respond. I hate the idea of, you know, since 1973 until this day, do you know, I think it's 21 million black babies have been aborted, deliberately aborted. That's murder. You understand? Do you think that's right? I want your response. And there are different theories that's going around. Well, uh, um, the reason why the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade is because uh, uh, the browning down of America. It had nothing to do with black people. But that the browning down of America and white people are not producing uh, 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 enough children. They're not having enough babies. So this is to ensure their numbers in America. What are your thoughts? Do you like the idea? Do you think God, do you think God uh, likes this or approves of murdering unborn children? But again, I say, I do believe a woman should have the absolute rule over her own body. Yes, I do. Killing children is in one way. That's not God's plan. What are your thoughts? I'd like to know. See, I serve God. For God I live and for God I die. 